Welcome to the Tactical Dad Podcast. I'm your host, Matthew Cook, and I am the Tactical Dad. I had to just check then to make sure that the microphone was on, point the right way, and the volume was up. In today's episode, this episode, we are, which is episode number 75. Look at that. I was actually more on top of that one then. I got my stuff together. Usually have no idea what number it is. So in this episode, we are talking about a gun range bag, pistol bag, soft case, gun, pistol, range bag, a generally which is a bag that you would use to keep your gear, uh, your essential gear for a range visit where you're going to go and shoot to practice. We might have a lesson, I'm just going to touch up on some skills to practice, but go into a range to practice uh, specifically with live fire since it's a range you know, you can do a lot of dry fire practice where you you know you don't need a range bag because you stay at home. But there's always the need to go and actually shoot a real gun, a real bullet, get the real get the uh, real ammunition, get the recoil, get the experience, the smell, the smoke, the context. You need all of that to improve your skills. So you are going to need a range bag. Now there are thousands out there, but this is my take on what you need. My take on a on what gun bag you should get, what pistol bag you should get, and also my take on what you should have in that bag for a new gun owner, new shooter, <coughs> because I was there not too long ago. Now, I know if there's some experts and some seasoned vets and professionals in this industry, you might disagree or you might think I need additional items. I would love for you to share that. I w- I'm, I'm not claiming I'm an expert here. I am sharing my journey. So if you think I've missed anything, I would love it if you emailed, called, text, commented on any of the media platforms out there that we post this stuff. Please say something. I'm not, I'm not going to take it. I will take it personally, actually, because uh, it's needed. So I need to. Whether it hurts my feelings or not, doesn't matter. I'm, I'm in this to learn. So... Please tell me if you think I missed something. So a pistol, gun, handgun, range bag. This is a bag that will keep all of your essential gear, essential items that you'll need for the range if you're going to go on a range visit. And me that was there not too long ago... I have my opinion on what you should have in this bag. But first, let's talk about the bag itself. Now, the, you can get case, you can get hard case or soft case. We, my preference is the soft case. Feels better, looks better. Uh, and if you get it padded enough, and if you're careful enough, which you should be, it's got a gun in it, then soft case can be fine. Hard case is, can, can just get a little tricky. Um, and maybe with like a long, maybe with a bigger gun, long range rifle with some extremely expensive, delicate parts, then yeah, I could see a hard case being a good viable option. And also they're more expensive. But for a range visit, for practicing with a handgun, a, a, a pistol bag uh, is a soft case, a soft case pistol bag is perfect for you. So what you're gonna, what you're gonna first do is search Amazon. <laughs> on the internet and going range bag uh buy range bag best range bag blah 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 so there's really it's personal preference and there's not much to the bag itself in 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 many reasons i would say the biggest differentiator is how many guns it can hold how and the capacity for the bag to how big the bag is you know, most of them are going to be of the same quality nylon, 600 denier PVC nylon. Uh, it's waterproof. It can't submerge it, but it is waterproof. It's got it's got plenty of pockets. It's got pockets to hold uh, magazines, pockets to hold everything else. Uh, it's got uh, it's got accessories within the bag to help you hold the gun itself. So, and and mostly all of them have this. So that's that's fine. That's good. You know, there's not many ways companies like us can innovate on a bag. 
that that's for one purpose, you know? So not much to do there. However, make the, the, the stitching, the material, good quality, well made. That's about as best you can do. And then what goes in is, is essential. I, if you're watching this podcast on video, you're going to see what's in mine. Other than, oh no, you could see it. It's gone on YouTube, so I could have the go in there. My bad. I've been doing Amazon Lives and YouTube Lives and uh, something else live. I should have forgot. And I can't, I can't have a gun on the screen. So actually remove the guns and ammo. So that you're not going to see even on this podcast video that's going to go on YouTube. So I'll just pretend that this is where my gun would be. But we, uh, I would suggest you consider this second Amen soft case pistol bag. It is, you know, it's got high capacity. You could put two, three guns in there, to be honest. doesn't have the functionality to hold them all in a, in a, in a, as a hard case would, but you could. It's big enough. So it's got a front pocket, one side pocket, a big interior pocket with two mesh pockets and two side pockets that are just a material uh, separated by material plenty of, plenty of space you in the front pocket we have and usually with most uh, range bags they have a dedicated pocket for magazines now if you're watching the video oh great you can see it on the video That's perfect so on the video you see there are th the front pocket there are three compartments three elastic uh, dividers for your magazines. So I've only got two in there. Another one is loaded with ammunition in my safe. You know, home defense ready. Uh, but yeah, that's that. In the main, oh, in the side pocket. Let's do the side pocket first. So the side pocket. Now we're going to start. Let's let me clearly state. Now let's get into what to have as essentials in your range bag as a new gun owner, new shooter, a beginner, novice, one on one. Magazines. You need magazines because they're going to go. Front pocket, this bag's got it. Perfect. In the side pocket, we have some gun oil, just a small uh, ballast oil. It's multi purpose oil, but really, really good. Gun owners like, like, really love this stuff, and I can attest to that. It's really, really helpful for cleaning. You just never know when, right? You might need to give your gun a little clean. And this is a perfect size and perfect price for it. We actually sell that on our website, so if you need some multi-purpose oil for a good price, check that out, Ballastol on our website, charttactical.com. Little multi-tool, you just never know when you need to adjust things. A marker, because after you shoot the target, you're gonna mark which one is which, so you don't use a new sheet of target paper every single time, because then it gets expensive. You can use one big sheet of target paper for multiple rounds. So, uh, multiple magazine rounds. So, uh, use the pen to mark out the previous one so you know the new shots. That's that. Now, in the bag, I I'm gonna I'm gonna say what's essential and what's not essential because there's some stuff in here that I've accumulated, which you don't need to. So, in the soft case pistol bag, I have my gloves, my gun gloves. This, I don't need. This is a bore sighter, laser bore sight, which, is handy, but it's not going to always live in there, and I'm not going to say it's an essential for you as a new gun owner. Gloves probably could be could be essential. I'm going to put them in the non-essential because I added them over time. Essential holster. Oh, this should have been first actually. Essential uh, ear protection, eye protection. That is a magazine holder. Not essential. That is X, not essential. Scope, not essential. Would highly recommend you have one. Flashlight, essential. So, flashlight, ear protection, eye protection, holster, essential. Uh, pen, mark, marker, multi tool, gun oil, essential. I have a little, uh, little white, uh, little cloth here. I would say that's essential too. Because if you're cleaning, you need something to wipe, right? So I would certainly say that is essential. This is a magazine loader, not essential. It's a pain in the butt to load your magazine. Uh, for most uh, magazine, uh, most ammo in most magazines. But, so this just makes it, well, that tool makes it easy, but it's not essential. Really, 
the all the essential things are going to be oh now it would be the actual gun the firearm right the gun is a side pocket here side compartment side functionality to hold the gun in more securely so essentials we've got magazines in the magazine patch in the magazine slots we got the gun secured in the main compartment of the bag ear protection eye protection flashlight holster marker side pocket marker multi-tool and uh, gun oil for cleaning that my friend i would say is like your stripped down bug standard essential for the range that is uh, that's what i would say that is and you can check out ours. obviously i'm a big believer in our products because it's me that's sourcing them that's finding them that's adjusting them so i am going to be very biased towards that however there are many different brands out there that sell great bags and uh, in some respects ours are modeled on some features of them and features that i want and preferences that i have so check out the second day med soft case pistol bag pistol range bag we have it in two colors we got it in tan and we have it in black great colors really sleek looking really handy it's got all the features and all the functionality you would need if you are a new gun owner or you're a novice a beginner that is going to start heading to the range on a regular basis to practice you need a range bag those items that i just mentioned they are your essential range bag items oh shoot i i don't have it on this because it's on my rifle bag right now that outside out of mind right so on my rifle bag i have a first aid kit and it, it, it just use it it's molly compatible which this bag is all along the back it's uh molly so molly compatible i usually if i'm just taking this bag the last time i was there i took my uh, rifle bag so it's on my rifle bag right now but if i'm just taking my handguns then i'll take this bag and i will put the first aid kit using the molly system on the back of this because and that i would say is essential as well the first aid kit is essential you know, there is the argument to say that a trauma kit is essential, but let's just stick the first aid kit is essential to add to that bag. Okay, thanks for joining me. That is all today. Me giving you my take on what pistol range bag you should get. Try to try to consider ours or, or, or similar functional, similar, similar brands uh, that provide a similar product. I would say consider us because I'm telling you firsthand, I love it, I use it. And then also my take on what should be in that pistol range bag, handgun pistol range bag for a newbie, a novice, beginner, new shooter, or someone that is now going to start taking it more seriously and committing to consistent practice. That's my take on a pistol range bag. Thanks for joining me. Hope you got something out of it. I'll see you again next time.